Though yesterday marked the first day of summer, temperatures have been high for weeks. Well, once the temperature goes above 90, it's very easy for people to get overheated. When they have multiple medical problems, when they have taking multiple medications, all these things predispose them to a heat injury. Not only just prescription medicines, but also over-the-counter medicines and even supplements can do this to you too. Dr. Michael Davis is the emergency department director for Christus Oshner here in Lake Charles and says each summer he sees a spike in patients with heat-related injuries. And many times if the injuries are related to medication, patients aren't aware of the possible consequences. There's a lot of common medications that can predispose you to a heat injury. Some of the uh, medicines we use to treat attention deficit and hyperactivity easily can over or predispose you to becoming overheated. Uh, drinking a lot of coffee or Cokes with caffeine in it can dehydrate you, limiting your body's ability to cool you off as well. But medications that we use for high blood pressure, for uh, psychiatric problems, all these things can, can do this. And these are common medicines that we prescribe routinely. Not only can certain medications make you more sensitive to the sun, but the heat can actually chemically change or even deactivate certain pills. So it's important to pay attention where exactly you're storing these medications. You leave your, your medicines inside your car, and especially exposed to the sun, easily can go over 120 degrees. If you have any doubts or questions about medications you're currently prescribed, contact your doctor. In Lake Charles, Morgan Babineau, 7 News. And remember, if you must be outdoors for a prolonged period of time, drink plenty of fluids, wear breathable clothing, wear sunscreen, and stay in the shade as much as possible. Time now for your first alert weather forecast. And that is all very good advice considering the fact that the heat is only continuing across southwest Louisiana so far today and likely will during the weekend upcoming. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. For now though, 